Joseph Staten left Xbox. We didn't know why. Now we know. According to IGN's Ryan McCaffrey, he's joined Netflix to make games. This is the best move Netflix has made so far to enter the video game market. Netflix needed a big swing, and they swung big. Say what you want about Halo Infinite, but Joseph Staten kept Infinite relevant. He's the one who steadied the ship and gave 343 the focus they lacked. Did Microsoft bring him on too late? Yes. And so you're seeing what Joseph had to work with in that amount of time. That's the sign of someone who has their stuff together. Halo Infinite would have been much worse without Staten. So the question is, can Joseph Staten give you that kind of focused leadership with a brand new IP, with a brand new company, and a leadership he's unfamiliar with? He's been working on Halo for so long, and he's been with Microsoft for so long, I feel like it becomes the devil you know at some point, right? Yes, he worked in publishing with Microsoft, so I have no doubt he knows what people want. But with a vice president who used to work at EA and Facebook, you know, one of the most notoriously up and down developers for an S&P 500 company in EA, how much freedom will he receive or how much will he be restricted? We'll find out. But I do think Joseph will do fine. But he has a lot of hill to climb. I'd argue it's it's actually a mountain. It's a new IP. What engine will they use? What's the core team look like? What will be the game? How much time will they have? How much budget are they given? When you start anything for the first time, it doesn't matter what it is. There is extra time and resources needed to make sure things are set up right so that the next time you do something, it doesn't take as long. And in this instance, everything is new. Joseph is new to Netflix. These people are new to him. They're starting a brand new IP. Netflix itself is new to games. This is so new, this is going to be a lot to overcome. We saw what happened to Amazon. We saw what happened to Google. These are companies with much more money. What Netflix hacks over uh, Amazon or Google is desperation. But as we've seen, even the biggest corporations that have the most money have a hard time getting games right. But that's exactly why Netflix brought on Joseph Staten. Games are a big risk, and Netflix needed a big swing to meet the risk. So this this is about as good of a first choice you can make to develop your first AAA game. So let's see how this unfolds.